Okay, we're gonna look at the intro characters. Here we are. Let's try our talent points out. We are gonna go retribution. Uh, let's see. Let's go with uh, let's go with the righteous verdict. Oh, I think they made consecration baseline now. So rep paladins will have consecration again, which is that that's kind of cool. Here's the first thing I noticed about paladins: like they added some abilities back, and this is something that they've talked about with Shadowlands is they want to kind of go back and bring some abilities that people have lost. Another thing that they've brought back, and this is just what I'm noticing right away, is they brought back auras. There's Crusader aura to increase your mount speed by 20%. You and everybody in your party by 20%, that's huge. Devotion Aura, instead of giving you armor like it did in Burning Crusade and Classic, party and raid members within 40 yards are bolstered by the Devotion and just take flat 3% less damage. Okay, that's kind of nice, but then there's Retribution Aura. Retribution Aura works nothing like their Retribution Aura in Vanilla WoW. When any party or raid member within 40 yards dies, you gain an Avenging Wrath for eight seconds. The default Aura is probably gonna be Devotion. That's a paladin thing. Like, this is part of playing a paladin to me is having these auras and buffing your teammates. But at the same time, like, it's gotta be something that can make an impact. The best one out of all these is really Crusader War, if you're gonna be honest. Cause I feel like 3% damage reduction isn't that much. It adds up a little bit, sure, but I, I'm, I'm not a big uh, fan of that. The next thing that I noticed is Consecrate. Consecrate is now baseline. Consecrate used to be a talent that you have to get, and it was in the same tree as Wake of Ashes, which I believe they also made baseline. Wake of Ashes, also baseline. So now they took two abilities that were, I mean, you couldn't ever get Consecrate because you got Wake. They took two abilities, were in the same talent tree and they made them both baseline, which is pretty cool. Word of Glory, you have Word of Glory here as well. Uh, so I have like Selfless Healer already. I mean, there might be a world here where I roll with Justicar's Vengeance because Justicar's Vengeance uses five Holy Power instead of three that Templar's Verdict uses. And Templar's Verdict uses three and does a thousand Holy Damage. However, Justicar's Verdict uses five and does 787 damage. And it restores health equal to the damage done. But the damage is increased by 50% when used against a stunned target. Justicar's Vengeance is cool. I like how it works like the old Seal of Command or Judgment of Command work, but it uses five Holy Power and honestly, it's it's not very good. Top, oh, wait, what the heck? How did I not see this? Am I blind? Oh, I think I clicked on retribution. That's why I didn't see it. Okay. So Hammer of Wrath is now baseline. A Hand of Reckoning, you got this taunt right here. And then Shield of the Righteous. So it gives you a reason to have to swap the sword and shield at some point, which is kind of cool. Slams the enemy in front of you with your shield, causing 183 holy damage and increasing your armor by 707. So if you're in an arena or something, oh, I'm getting focused. Boom, I swap to my shield. Boom, shield of the righteous. It doesn't do that much damage, but it's it's like a little bit of a uh, an armor boost. So I can be a little bit tankier while I have my shield out even. Right now, my armor is 357. So that should tell you a lot about how good shield of the righteous is gonna be. Literally double armor. It's only for four and a half seconds, but still not bad at all. That's so cool if it lets you shield swap. Yeah, I mean, these are like old concepts in WoW that had gone away, and, and now you have the ability to do that sort of stuff again. I, I think it's something that's very good for the game. Uh, let's go with Divine Purpose. I like Divine Purpose a lot. Let's see, Sanctified Wrath. Avenging Wrath lasts 25% longer during Avenging Wrath. Each holy power spent causes you to explode with holy light for 90 more damage near to nearby enemies. So this is, this is like, uh, was it Light's Decree, the Azerite trait? Is that what I'm thinking of? This is kind of like that. I'm mostly a fan of Crusade. I like Crusade. Maybe I'm biased. Okay, do we have everything set up here? I think we're good to go. Look at this. Sword and Shield. Like, you can't even, you can't even Sword and Shield in, uh, you can't even Sword and Shield in, in, uh, BFA right now, can you? I mean, you can, but, like, it would be really dumb to use your Sword and Shield in retail as a Rep Paladin. But, like, now, like, I can make a macro to be like, doo-doo, and then, and then Shield of the Righteous and it would give me a big armor buff, a huge armor buff, actually. Kind of like how I do in, uh, you, you see me switch on, in Classic all the time, you see me switch to my one-hander. Oh, oh, what? I'm already at the Frozen Throne right away? Report to Bulvar Four Dragon. High Lord Darien Wolverine. What does he say? Before her minions abducted key leaders, the Banshee Queen attacked Ice Crown. She cut a path to the Frozen Throne and seized the Helm of Domination. Look to the sky and you will see the results of her actions. Frick, dude. Look at that, dude. Hold on, can I just talk to him? I feel like he's doing the event without me. I've never beheld anything like this. Shattering the helm also freed Bo Bolvar Four Dragon from the burden of being the Lich King. Dude, look at this model, dude. What an amazing model. 
Sephiroth vibes? Yeah, kind of. When the Banshee shattered the helm, it tore a gaping wound through the veil between our world and the Shadowlands. During my vigil upon the Frozen Thorn throne, I caught a fleeting glimpses into the realms of death. Among them, I saw a place of inescapable darkness. That is where you must go. If you are to save those Sylvanas has taken, together we can open the way. Place the shards of domination around the circle of runes and then the ritual can begin. She demise mine to kill. Nice. Tironde, don't do this. Tor shalalalarmalama. Hapa manana. I don't know how to pronounce that. We cannot lose you to the darkness. Well, too late. She already jumped in. A little slow there again. A little slow there, dude. She already jumped. So, good one. You could have saved your life. Unbelievable. It's not even about... I'm excited about Shadowlands being good. That's not what I'm excited about. I'm excited about finding out if Shadowlands is going to be good. Does that make sense? Like, I, I feel like, this, I think a lot of people are in this boat where they come back, they come back for a new expansion and they kind of <whistles> peek their head in, kind of dip their toes in the water. They want to see how it feels. And, and I think a lot of people want WoW to be good. WoW played a big part in so many people's lives. Even myself, I wasn't really seriously playing WoW for like 10 years. But I, I always like, WoW was such a huge part of my life whenever I was younger that that just kind of stayed with me. I'm very excited to see how Shadowlands turns out. So I, I'm gonna be playing the pre-patch. I'll be playing it on launch. It's gonna be super exciting. Uh, and I also feel like there's a lot of people who, who kind of want to see my perspective of like retail WoW patches and expansions from somebody who's primarily a classic player. Am I am I crazy for hearing these sounds and thinking of Half-Life? Like I, if, I, if I were to close my eyes and just listen to this, I would think Half-Life. Half-Life Half -Life 2 specifically, yeah. Defeat eight Mossworn enemies in the Crucible of Pain. We are unyielding. We are very good. Knight of the Ebon Blade. Hello, thank you, ma'am. Uh, fight your way out of here. We'll meet you ahead. Get on with it. Can I? Oh, do I have to actually kill this? Hammer of Wrath. Look at that. Oh, dude, Hammer of Wrath being instant cast is crazy. Let me actually turn down my actual sounds a little bit. Boom. Boom. Hmm. I'm not doing my rotation right at all. I'm just I'm just kind of pressing buttons. Knight of the Ebon Blade, thank you, milady. Regroup with your fellow knights. We will not be far behind. Sure thing. So let's try and let's let's see. These are two level fifties. Let's see if we can kill two level fifties at a time. I'm out of range. Let's see if we can kill three level fifties at a time. With wait, did I get taunted? Okay, I'm gonna pop my wings. Boom, boom, boom. Let's go over here. Boom, boom. Go like this. You didn't lose any mana during that, so strange. Uh, well, not a lot of my abilities use mana. I, this is something that I kind of don't like about the class fantasy of retail. I have about one ability that uses mana. Flash of light and... Blessing and protection, 300 mana. Blessing of freedom, like, I mean, and, and mana comes back so fast, look at this. See how fast it's regening? But we have holy power as a resource now. Dude, having an interrupt is so nice. That's like the worst thing about classic Rep Paladin. I, I, you could give me more damage, you give me all kinds of different things, but if I had to pick one, it would be interrupt. Not having an interrupt as a Paladin in classic WoW, is 99.9%, .9 I, I would win every, I would never lose a fight if I had an interrupt. I'm gonna go ahead and say it. I think if I had a, if I had a rebuke in vanilla, I would never lose a 1v1. Even against a warrior, somehow it would make me better against warriors, I don't even know. I wish they would, uh, I wish that they would buff Justicar's Vengeance. I wish they made it like 100% increased damage when stunned. And, or you know what, just leave it 50% increased damage when stunned. But the same base damage as Templar's Verdict would be nice. I forgot, this isn't classic. I can't actually talk to my chat while I'm playing. If I'm looking at chat, then I can't freaking look at those things with dodge mechanics, dude. That's why I'm telling you, I play the best vanilla WoW streaming class and it's a rep paladin. Cause I can just sit here and I can just have a conversation with you guys. 
That's why our community is so close. Let's be honest, it's because I play Rhett Paladin. I think that goes without saying. Hold on, why was I... Do I have any blessings? I need more mana. Hammer of Wrath, rank 258, since I'm dead. I don't have blessings? Why did they get rid of blessings? Blessings are cool. Man, I don't know, dude. I, I think that one of the things that I liked so much about the progression in the early expansions from level 60 to 70, who, who was there whenever they, they, I think what they did was they progressively announced the new abilities that each class was going to get in Burning Crusade. And it showed like for every level. And I remember going through Paladins and it was like Crusader Strike, Righteous Defense, uh, I think it showed talents, and I think it showed spells and like passives and stuff, and I think it showed like spiritual attunement, all these cool things. And then you got to level 70 and it was like, boom, wings, avenging wrath. And it was the, I remember thinking this is the coolest thing in the world, man. And as you're leveling up, like you get to access to these new cool abilities. Concentration aura? Interrupt the sun's and partying raid members in the 40 yards or 30 percent short. I mean, that's really good. Don't get me wrong, but. Concentration aura, that's not exciting. Since I'm dead, that's not exciting. Retribution aura, rank two, that's not exciting. Halo of Wrath rank two, that's not exciting. Like, these are not things that are exciting at all. We don't even get another talent. You're now gonna go three expansions in a row with the same amount of talents. It's really dumb. Like, yeah, certain things are now baseline. Like, Hammer is now baseline. Consecration is now baseline. Wake of Ash is now baseline. I don't like this. First page. No, it's still not there. Like you have like Bop and Freedom, but you don't have uh you, you don't have like a Blessing of Kings or Blessing of Wisdom like you do in BFA and, and Legion. Yeah, yeah, guys, uh am I missing something? I don't see any like blessing of blessing of kings or blessing of wisdom. Like ho do holy palins at least get them? No, it looks like they just got rid of it. Yeah, it looks like they just got rid of it. That kind of stuff to me, as like a as like a lifetime paladin player. Like, that is a big part of class fantasy to me. I, I don't like that they got rid of those. I talked about this on Allcraft today. It was the point of, look, you can't just go, and when, when Classic came out, they absolutely, uh, like, I think they would be fools to have not done this. Go back to the drawing board. Whoa, wait a second. Classic was overwhelmingly successful. We did not think this was gonna happen. What is it that they like so much about Classic? You don't go and answer that question by saying, okay, that's what they like, let's take it and put it in retail. You answer that question by finding what was so exciting about Classic, the things that are exciting about it, because not everything was, but certain things were, and say, okay, they like this, but why? We don't necessarily need to take something and put it in retail but we need to take that and try and emulate it in some way. It's not just like, well, they want class fantasy, they like auras, let's give them some auras. It's like, no, that's, it's not that simple. It's because uh, like the, how the game plays and the usage of the auras is not exciting. I think the vanilla auras are better than these. Like I think giving you like armor, return damage, uh, pushback uh, reduction, fire resist, shadow resist, frost resist, 10% holy damage, I think all of those are more engaging, like as a whole, like that's more engaging than these. Ret Aura is kind of cool to be fair. And it does give you that sort of like, okay, I see one of my teammates are about to die. Somebody in my raid's about to die. Whoop. Okay, boom, I pop wings. Switch back to Devo. So there is that gameplay perspective of it. Like I know for me, whenever I'm like, just watch me in Battlegrounds, I don't always change, but there are times where I'm like changing my auras mid-combat. There's times where I'm fighting a warrior. <laughs> Iron grenade in the air. <laughs> Boom, fire resist aura, 60 fire resist. The grenade hits me, bounces off my freaking my chest. I give him the boom, 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 boom. Right, because I resist it because of fire damage. I like that, you know? Like that, that is engaging gameplay, right? I think we're gonna try and just test something else. Let's go look at something else. Maybe look at the the, the Venthyr covenant, covenant maybe. Um, and look at some level 60 gameplay. So, if you guys like my channel, if you guys like the content, the stuff that I do, I play a lot of everything. Variety, classic WoW, retail WoW. Whenever Shadowlands comes out, I am excited for Shadowlands. We do a lot of IRL content. Best community on Twitch, watch this. Everybody's gonna spam wide people have, oh, middle fingers, oh. Well, it's pretty good. So subscribe, hit the bell, don't forget. I looked at my analytics one time and I saw like, the majority of people that watch my videos are not even subscribed. But 
Thank you so much for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.